Hey, what's up guys, this is Jen, and today we're gonna talk about one of the biggest mistakes that I see beginners make. I'm gonna do a whole series off of this, but this is the first one, it's one of the biggest ones. We're gonna talk about the fretting hand, which happens to be my left hand, and it is not dropping the palm. So you see a lot of the times people playing chords, and their thumb is way over here, and their palm is basically attached to the neck. Now, this is a struggle for most people to play chords this way, whether they know it or not, because you cannot get the same stretch that you do when your palm is down and your thumb is down. Now, I know with the thumb being up, you see it all the time, and sometimes it's used for muting, like if I'm playing the A minor chord, I'm muting that sixth string so I can get a nice big strum. And then there's sometimes where it's legit where you'll see people playing notes with their thumb. Jimi Hendrix does this a lot, so does John Mayer, where I'm hitting this F sharp. And that's really cool. So for that kind of stuff, that's not a big deal. That's a specific technique. But I'm talking about just regular chords, keeping your palm and your thumb down. So what I want you to do is I want you to try something. Just grab the neck like this, like you would, almost like a baseball bat, and try to stretch your fingers out. So you see here, that's, I can't stretch my fingers out any further than that, and I'm really trying, right? That's it. Now, drop your palm down so the thumb disappears behind the neck, and now stretch your fingers out. You see? gigantic difference gigantic difference and when we're doing all these chord changes even open position chords we need that stretch you know and then we get into bar chords and all that we want to be able to stretch beyond what the actual chord is right so then when we play the chord it's easy because if all we can do is stretch to the just the minimum here of this C, then chances are you're gonna get some buzzes, right? So if I have my thumb over and my palm up like this, I cannot stretch beyond this back part of the fret, right? If I drop down, slide that thumb down and stretch out, I have plenty of room. I actually could get to the next fret if I needed to. I don't want to, <laughs> but if I needed to, I could. So that's why that's important. Now, the thing with practicing this is that you have to take it out of the context of the song. Because what's gonna happen if you've built up a habit, you're gonna go immediately into that habit once things uh, get a little bit tricky. So if I'm playing a song, you know, something like this, I'm gonna go immediately into all my old habits. So chances are you're, you'll do something like, there's the thumb, that. Because there's too much going on for your brain to be able to say, no, this is what we're working on. So when you practice this, you have to take even like two to five minutes, two to five minutes and just say, okay, all I'm gonna do is practice now watch the palm as I change chords. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. Because what it's gonna wanna do is it's gonna wanna pull up. So you're gonna go like that, and then it's gonna wanna pull, 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 and then you're here. And you won't even know how you got there if you go too fast. So you gotta really, really take your time and feel it coming up, or not. Now it's not the most fun thing to practice. <laughs> you know, it's not like learning a song or a lick or a riff or something where you feel like, oh yeah, I've got this thing. I can, I can show off to my friends, right? Chances are you're not gonna wanna show off to your friends of like, hey, look, look how my palm stays down and my thumb is dropped. I mean, maybe if your friends are guitar players, they'll understand. Um, but it's really important that you just take a few minutes out of your practice session to focus on that. Keep your strumming hand very simple, if anything at all, you know, just some down strums. But I want you to see, I want you 
want you to feel how those muscles want to go up. And chances are your shoulder wants to come up as well because it turns into this because we want to muscle those cords, right? And just feel like we have control over it, like wrestling an alligator or something. We don't have to wrestle alligators. We don't have to do that, I promise you. Uh, it's all about staying relaxed. So, what I'd like you to do, add this into your practice session. Um, I would like you to add it into your practice session at the beginning. Set the timer for two to five minutes, just focus on that, and then get into your regular practice session. And then let me know how that goes. I think that's really gonna help. And remember, this is something that I see, have seen through many, 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 many years of teaching um, that really hinders players in the long run. So if you can start to correct it now, you'll be in good shape. And remember, you can correct it at any time. Even if you've been doing it this way for 20 years, 30 years, however long you've been playing guitar, you can correct any muscle memory mistakes. But just take a little bit of time to do it. A little bit of time, a little bit of time, a little bit of time. <laughs> take a little... <laughs> Take a little bit of time and uh, I promise you the muscles will correct themselves and you'll feel better, you'll play better, you'll sound better, everything will be better. Palm dropped, thumb down, you got this. Last thing, this is a Patreon supported video. Thank you so much to all my patrons for supporting me for so, so, so long. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it sounded like I was getting emotional. I wasn't this time. Sometimes I do get emotional talking about my patrons. This time I didn't, like sad emotional, like emotional emotional. I'm emotional as in I'm happy. <laughs> but uh, no, my voice just cracked because that's what it does now. Um, but yes, thank you for, for supporting me. And if you're interested in figuring out how to support these videos, please go to patreon.com slash jentranny and you can see all the ways to support me to talk to you about this.